So in the coming future, I would like to get started on repairing the top corners of this top, but in order to do that, I'm going to have to either put some boards under here and wedge it up or just get this lifted off the Jeep. So today I'm going to focus on getting my hoist on the ceiling so I can move forward with working on the top. I need to do a couple things, take some measurements, raise the door up, see where it's going to fit at in perspective to the, the ceiling and kind of make it fit and then hook myself up some sort of hoist system in here, whether it be like the bike pulley system or whatever it is. I, I'm going to mess with it, see what we can come up with. As you can see, the door doesn't come back all the way. So I have a section there that I can work with and kind of have my top stick out a little further than I would normally. So I am building a hoist using the cheapest winch I could find on Amazon. This is under $100. It uh, comes with a remote, a power cord for 120 volts, a very, very small cord, but it's, according to the description, it is rated for what I'm doing. It has a safety shutoff, which we can do away with that. And we're going to plumb this up and see if we can turn it into a electric hoist for lifting the top off of my Jeep. Additionally, it might be used for other projects. So it came with this hook, which honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to use it. We'll, we'll fool around with it. It came with these straps. Probably not going to use these, but we're going to, we're going to see what's, what they look like. Let's see if it's got a weight on it. It says it is weighted 3,100 pounds in a straight line, 6,200 if you wrap it around. So, I mean, I guess that's actually not rated for anything I can use. We'll see if we can use it on that top. All right, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount this, this electric hoist up on the wall. And we're gonna, through a series of pulleys and levers, we're gonna make it work how we want it to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this thing to fit. I'm gonna just bolt it to a couple of joists and we're gonna experiment. See what happens. I mean, this little tiny cable somehow rated for a couple hundred pounds. So we'll see what happens. So I try to hang on to all the garbage I get. You buy something, they send you with, you know, spacers and all kinds of crap that you probably never need for anything, but I'm going to use them. And lag bolts, they fit through these little plastic spacers. That came with a TV mount, I think, but don't throw it away. Also came with steel washers that I can I can use on these lag bolts. And I got a great combination there. So I will use these to mount this thing on the wall. Just goes to show you, don't throw anything away. But don't become a hoarder. I'm gonna drill a couple of holes for our lag bolts, and then we'll get this mounted. Okay, so this is your safety shut off. Uh, you only need safety sometimes, so we're going to go ahead and remove it. We don't need it. It's just this little e-clip here. I'm going to pop it off and we'll be done with it. There we go. No more restriction. Still need to fix that transmission leak. Look, everybody, Jasper's here! Working center on the ceiling, so we know where this top goes. Is that square? I think so. Okay. It looks pretty, at least how the Jeep's sitting right now. All right, so we are gonna run to the store and get some supplies. We uh, kind of got a base structure up on the roof there. We just need some pulleys and uh, we're just, we're just kind of guessing as we go. So we're gonna build a frame and see if we can't get this top off of here. But uh, be right back, we're gonna run to the hardware store. All right, we are back. We just went to like 13 different stores just to find some 
some wood and some fasteners. We are going to put all of our uh, pulleys and other accessories on the ceiling. We're going to snip some cables and see if we can make this work. Quick side quest, we're out here uh, spinning up Jason's winch. Okay, so I've played with this, fooled around with it, uh, changed it, modified it, started over, done everything, and I think this is the final boss. I've got it down, I'm gonna lower it down one more time, kind of tweak all the ropes a little bit, and then we're gonna go right back up with it, and I think it's it, we're done. It fits good. Okay, so this is everything in the lowered position. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how everything looks. Alright, what we have here is an interior view with the straps running through it. You can kind of see the setup. I'll figure out something else later on, but right now, it's what I got until I can get some perfect straps for this situation. That's perfect. That's what I need. Goes up, it's out of the way, clears the top. I don't know what else to do. That just, that works. This is going to let me lower this down when the Jeep's not in here, and we're going to fix these corners. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and there's more to come. See you next time.